All right, what's up gang? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Guys, we are going to be installing the brand new Defender Racks. They just sent them to us. We just got them in today. Uh, wow, first off, I had to back up the enclosed trailer into the driveway. That was an interesting little uh, adventure. Never done that before. As most of you guys know, we just picked up our brand new enclosed trailer. Uh, my trailer does come with the grid iron on the Landscape Pro Series. However, I wanted to have a little bit more security. I've heard a lot of great things about the Green Touch style racks and now also these Defender style racks. So I'm gonna switch mine out. I wanted to have some that had the ability to have the little locking mechanism on them. And then not only that, the extra little piece of metal that keeps them from swaying back and forth while they go down for the road. So the guys at Defender Racks were gracious enough to send out their trimmer racks and then also the backpack sprayer rack. The blower racks that I do have that came with the trailer, I am happy with those, so I didn't decide to upgrade those. I know the Defender Rack ones lock, but nonetheless, I was happy with the ones I had, so I held off for those for now. All right, let's do an unboxing and I'll show you guys what the racks look like. All right, guys, here are the Equipment Defender four position trimmer rack. Uh, I'm super familiar with a lot of your guys' videos, man, over the last few years. Watched all of your guys' on the Green Touch. So I was looking forward to outfitting my trailer with those, but honestly, I wasn't a fan of the lime green. So these are definitely more my style, more my color, the red and black. There's a lock. All right, let's keep unboxing. All right guys, for most of you that have watched me over the last year and a half as we've been on YouTube, you guys know I used my six and a half utility trailer until I got my brand new enclosed trailer. These were the racks I was originally using. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I couldn't even tell you where I picked these up. I'm pretty sure I picked them up at Lowe's for about $75, maybe a hundred bucks. They've lasted for a little while and then I just started welding them on multiple times. We've got welds here. We had to weld the bracket bank on, then the weld again to the rack. Uh, I had to go through distributors to find the extra uh, hooks because uh, all of mine, you know, I lost them over time. They just pop off off the dirt road or when I hit a speed bump. So it's a nice little upgrade going from these to those inside of that. Maybe give you guys some hope and some encouragement. By the way, where were these guys three years ago when I was broke eating ramen? And this is what I was running with these kind of racks. Uh, now we can afford whatever we want and we have this kind of stuff getting sent to us for demo. Uh, that's different. Definitely very thankful. No doubt about that. So let's go install them, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, this is the current rack we're using. This is the gridiron. Again, nothing wrong with it by any means. Uh, I just wanted something that wasn't going to have my trimmers uh, bounce up and down. I wanted the engine mounts. Uh, I wanted the locking mechanism to keep everything closed, even though the trailer's locked up, that extra security. And then I also wanted four instead of three. That way we can have our second edger on here as a backup. Again, happy with the gridiron that came with the trailer, but definitely excited about upgrading. First things first, let's take our trimmers out and let's get this rack off the wall. All right, let me just give you guys a close up of what the grid iron does look like. There's nothing wrong with it by any means, like I was saying. The only thing though, it just doesn't lock. All right guys, so here's the inside of the package. You got all your brackets, all your mounts, the pieces that go on the trimmers. You got your instructions, which I'm gonna be reading big time because nobody has a video out on this yet. And then obviously you have your brackets that are gonna go against the wall on the inside of the trailer. All right guys, there's two bags of bolts and screws. You got one up here and another one right here. These go to the brackets. So right here, you got the bolt coming through. You got a washer and then the nut. Now these are gonna mount to the trailer wall. So let's start with that. All right guys, we're about 10 minutes in. We have the brackets just like this that are going to be bolted on. And then obviously screwed to the inside of the wall. So let's keep going. All right guys, as you can see, we have the mounts now installed. Let's go put it on the trailer. All right guys, my goal is to use the same screw holes for the top and then make new ones on the bottom. Again, we're going through the wood and into the metal frame. All right guys, in this instant, I'm gonna take one of the screws out of the wall that's holding the wood to the wall. There's plenty of screws here, but that's literally right where the second bolt needs to go. All right guys, I'm telling you like a friend, I'm impressed that I was even able to mount this. 
Most of you guys know that my skill set on stuff like this is pretty much a zero. So if I can figure this out, I promise you guys can figure it out. All right, guys, it took about a half hour to get this far. Well, let's go to rack number two. All right, guys, here's the second rack. Now let's put the brackets on and then install it. All right, guys, we are about an hour into this bad boy. Got these both installed. We're gonna go put the blocks on the trimmers and then we'll put the engine mounts on so we can support them and see where we're at. All right guys, so the next part of the instructions, we've got the locking block, we also have the support block. Support block's gonna go on the end of the trimmer and then the locking block's gonna go in the middle by the handle. So let's install those now. All right guys, here's your mounting blocks. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're gonna use the Allen wrench, loose them up. We'll put them on my edger and we'll also put them on my trimmer. That's pretty much all I got right now on the racks. All right guys, we got the Echo 2620 mounted now. This rack, you guys can see, it's a smidge short. Uh, I measured correctly. I think it's just the way it's designed a little bit, you know, with the square bracket versus the bracket that's gonna be fed through here. Now, I will tell you guys, I had to move the rack from this mount all the way to the next beam over. Uh, the style I have, it hangs over the handle, and this right here, I lost about 10 or 12 inches, so I had to bring the whole rack one whole notch over to install it. it took about 10 minutes to undo it and redo it. Not that big of a deal now that I've done it uh, once before. All right, guys, we have all the mounts done on the front. Now for the locking block, it was pretty simple on the Echo. However, with the Red Max 260 TS, you have the shoulder strap uh, clip, and then you also have the handle, which is very close to this mounting bracket. So it was pretty much uh, just barely fit. It did fit, but you have to shimmy it a little bit just to line it up correctly. So no worries for my Red Max fans, okay? Let's install the engine mounts really quick, and then we'll be wrapping this up. All right, guys, up next is the engine mounts. Now there is a bolt that's going to go right through on the back side, and there's one on top, and then we'll be putting one on the bottom. All right, guys, we have both of our brackets installed now. Again, I'm just following the directions right out of the box, guys. They're actually pretty straightforward. The images make sense. It's nice having instructions you can actually read and make sense about. Up next, we're gonna put the long bar in between that bracket, and then also up here. After that, we'll position the engine brackets. That way, there's no weight on the engine shaft while it's going down the road. And thankfully, because we have the four trimmer rack, we get the pleasure of unscrewing four of these bad boys and mounting them together. <laughs> it's just tedious. I love it. All right, gang. So we got the bracket mounted with the bar going all the way up. There's four screws here for the Allen wrench. And there's uh, another one here that I got to tighten up. And all that being said, you got to make sure you get the bar up on top. That way it doesn't fall down. That way it doesn't fall off. It's still a one person job, but uh, it just took a little while to get these blocks with the Allen wrench uh, screws all the way out and all the way in. All right, guys, here's the finished product. I got the engine brackets all on. Wow. Took about two hours to do this, to be totally honest with you guys. Like I said, I had to move the other rack. It was a position over. I had to move it one bracket over. A couple things I wanted to highlight and mention. One, uh, if you love using Allen wrenches, you're going to be living the dream with this one. So I had to unscrew four, four, four. <laughs> And again, another four, then screw them all back together. And again, there's another screw here that you need to adjust with an Allen wrench. Um, I did want to show with all the different trimmer brands that we have, Echo and Red Max, none of them are balancing on each other. There's plenty of room between each one. I will tell you guys this, there's a rubber cover that goes on top of these, but with this hard plastic that all the trimmers use, it just started rubbing, so I pretty much just took them off already. A couple other things I wanted to mention was if you guys want to put these on an open trailer, a utility trailer, this bar is gonna go through the main shaft, and then you got the two screws here that you're gonna tighten down on it. Pretty straightforward. Every set of trimmer racks does come with a bracket. Now this is going to give you that extra protection and extra strength while on the utility trailer. For example, it's gonna mount just like that and then the bar is going to mount right there onto the wood. All right guys, in all honesty, it took about two hours to put this thing together. Uh, I had to go back a little bit back and forth, make some minor adjustments with how I wanted everything to fit in there. I will tell you this, that the two trimmer rack holders, uh, they go for 200 bucks. The trimmer racks with three holders go for 225, and then the big dog, the four trimmer racks, they go for 260 bucks. Now, I will tell you guys this, that if you're a Brian's Law Maintenance uh, viewer and fan, I'll leave the affiliate link down below. You guys can always support our channel by using the affiliate link and by the way with that you do get an extra five percent off so every little bit adds up and it also supports our channel so how cool is that again big thank you to equipment defender for sending these out i'll show you guys the backpack sprayer rack holder here on another video just so i can break it up for you guys 
As always, thank you so much for watching Brian's Law Maintenance. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Definitely smash the like button and maybe share this with another guy in the industry that might be looking forward to these racks. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You take care.